Hello and welcome back. My name is Scorpios and this week I'm back with a short building video. As you can see, I just finished building in creative mode and I have recorded my building process and turned it into a time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to lay down a brick foundation. And if you want to follow this tutorial block by block, the exact number of blocks on each side is going to appear on the screen right now. The next thing I'm going to do is to build up 12 blocks and I'm going to fill in all of the walls and this huge brick box is going to be the main body of our build. And here I'm just extending one side of the wall as a way to figure out the shape of the roof. And in this case I've selected this particular roof layout because I think it complements the massiveness of the building itself very well. And for this particular roof design, for each block that you build toward the central axis, you only need to build up one half slab And after the laborious process of placing down a ton of blocks, we now have a rough outline of the factory building for us to start putting in details. However, if you want to go up and beyond and make your building extra fancy, keep close attention here because I'm going to show you some of the things that you can add to add more interest to this build. For example, here I'm adding a second layer of roof on top of the existing structure. I built the second layer of roof for blocks above where the original roof used to be. And I'm also going to fill in the walls here as well. And another thing that you can add to this build are these giant walls. We are obviously dealing with an industrial theme here. And I think adding these massive walls really make this building look more powerful and imposing. And for that reason, I built these walls to be two blocks thick. And here I'm going to finish building up these walls by putting down some stone bricks. And by this point, the main structure of this factory is pretty much complete. And instead, we're going to shift our focus to adding in some details. For example, one of the things that you can do is to add in some support columns. And feel free to play around with the shape of these columns. And make sure to add in some stone brick stairs, as they will make these columns more visible. And the next step is to place down some windows. Here I'm going to create some indentation by replacing regular blocks with brick walls. Basically, my goal here is to make the wall look as if it has multiple layers. And after putting in some extra texture, it is time to place down some more windows on top. And as you can see, for this part of the building process, I'm pretty much using the same method. And after that, I'm going to shift my focus to this wall over here. After figuring out the placement of some doors, the next thing I'm going to do is to add in some decorative pattern just to make this wall less boring. And my process here cannot be any simpler since all I'm doing here is replacing regular brick blocks with brick walls just to add in some depth. And I continued to tweak my design until I was happy with how the wall looked. You can also place down a chimney. And in order to do that, I'm going to start by building a tube that is 3 blocks by 8 blocks. And using brick walls and stone brick stairs, I was able to pack in a lot of details. And these details are awesome if you want your chimney to stand out at a distance.
And just to wrap up this project, we're going to do some very simple texturing. In my case, I'm only using polished andesite. And this step is pretty straightforward as well. And if there's any tips or advice that I can think of, it would be to focus your texturing on only the columns and the bottom layers of this build. And this will also give you an opportunity to highlight the overall structure of this factory. And with that out of the way, we have completed our project here for this week. I will be uploading more content like this on my channel. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time.